Shalom and welcome back. All right. Remember in a former video when I talked about there are many things in Matthew 24 that are searchable terms. I want to show you something really cool that I just uh, think is amazing. And it all falls in Daniel. So here we got uh, Yeshua giving us um, access terms in Matthew 24. And I'm going to show you where it appears in Daniel. Uh, so the text is confirming one another. Let me just give you some examples. Um, we're going to search uh, the end of the age. Uh, signs of your coming is um, one of those terms. Let's just let's just review. This is a great text here. And in going out, Yeshua, Yeshua went away from the set apart place, and his taught ones came near to the point uh, out to the, him the buildings of the set apart place where, where the um, The temple. Let me just read it in, in the King James because the ISR just kind of throws people for a loop. So I want you to get this. Um, the King James has it, the end of the world. I'll have you know the world's not going to end. There's going to be a new um, age. This is called a millennium. Um, so there is an end of an era. But King James has end of the world. Uh, and Yeshua said unto them, Take heed, no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am he. And shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. He is giving us a clear outline all the way through. Um, you know the text. Um, abomination and desolation. One of the, the main ones everyone's looking for, this abomination and desolation. However, Historically, it's already happened, but Matthew is telling us it means something more. And I'm going to show you something in this table in a few minutes uh, that I think is just like in the Abomination of Desolation table, it had a significant symbolic meaning in there. And it's the same thing in this um, end of an era table. Um, tribulation or Great Tribulation. Another term. All searchable terms and are usually going to be found in the Tanakh. So you have the beginning in the end and the beginning. So it's, um, it's amazing how that happens. We're going to cover so much. All right, so here we go. I'm going to take you into the Bible code program that I use here. We're going to search the whole Tanakh for uh, the end of uh, an era. All possible skips. We let the computer run, and as you can see, it's there. It's there 15 times. And yes, I've already searched this out. This is not on the. This is not on the fly, folks. Uh, but I want to show you something really cool in this. Um, so we're going to look at the very smallest skip. It happens to be the twelfth one found in this. And here it is. I'm doing this because I want to show you a little bit of the process, especially to those that are in just enrolled. By the way, we have started the enrollment process and the training program that we have started. Which I'm really excited about that. Well, here we go. So we have a matrix here. End of an error. 4629. Uh, but I'm going to split that in half. So we're making the cylinder smaller. And it's giving us um, a tighter matrix. So uh, let's just do this. Fifteen forty-three is exactly one half of that. And you can see it splits it in half. I think it's one half of them. Might have been two. Went in there twice. And here it is. That is the access term. And I want you to see something. It's 
1,543 letters in between letters. So it's in a very small space. And if you look here, starting with one and going through these chapters, um, actually that is uh, Esther starts here. Daniel starts right at the first letter. Interesting, because the bulk of this matrix all the way through here, through the whole bulk of the axis term is Daniel. End of an error. Daniel. Here's what the amazing thing I want to show you. Tribulation. Another term from Matthew 24. Watch what happens when you put in tribulation. The word tribulation. That is an amazing anomaly. Check this out. And that is by design. X marks the spot. Have I got your interest yet? That is an interesting anomaly. It splits it exactly in half. We got four letters on top, three letters on bottom, three on each side. Four, three, three, three is the matrix now i've searched this inside out sideways in every way i could but there's still more and more there daniel is an encoded book and it's sealed everything that's in this in this region is sealed um, i want to show you the progression of what i'm working on this is the very same thing very same table what you see here Tribulation and end of an error. Now let me show you something else from Matthew 24. Abomination of desolation right there. Have I got your interest? Yeah. This is one of the most amazing ones I've ever seen, folks. I happened to look for Nibiru in this. When I pulled this back up, uh, you know, I realized there were some terms that I hadn't searched in this. Because this one goes back a way back. Uh, Nibiru, right there. And, and not only that, it's the big spelling of it. It's the Nun Yod Bet Yod Resh Vav. Six letters right there. And that's an abacus effect. It doesn't appear n normally in the text. Um, also, we have Jubilee and Shemitah as well in here. And look how this comes together. The Jubilee right there. Small text. That is in Esther. Uh, Shemitah written backwards and also vertical here with the Jubilee running through it. Also have Zophan right, right here as well in the plain text, which is hidden. Um, several years it did appear in this. Uh, why? Because these are the days that Daniel spoke about in the time when um, the Knowledge is increasing, man is running to and fro. That is now. When the angel told him to seal the book until the end. That is now. I can prove that to you. Here is 2016 in the blue. Right there. Hey, Tav, Shin, Ein, Vav. But, but taking a look back, so was 2015. Two years that come together in these tables. Hey, Tav, Shin, Ein, Hey, and this was back when I was thinking there was going to be a rapture, folks, because rapture did appear in this. Taken, does it mean pre-trib? But Asaf connects to um, the actual year there, which, you know, okay, so what does that mean? The gathering in the year 2015. Uh, Asaf is also here. And connecting to itself this way. But look at this cluster of, of, of words here. We have Israel running through the shin of Asaph. Right up under that is the word Haaretz, which is the land. But then if you look vertical right here, it says um, curated in blood. What does that mean? <clears throat> Moed, the Moed is here. It is also running through we got a hay down here. 
uh, the Moed is sharing the iron in the end of an era. So the appointed time of the end of an era is right in the middle of the tribulation in this table. Obama's name is right up under that, where it says um, the abomination of desolation. And, and right in there, by the way, I got three blue letters highlighted. That is ha chetz, which is a very short version of saying the end of days. Chetz. Obama's name is right under that. Right. <coughs> Excuse me, under that. The beast in the red, right above that. Um, the codes, Bible codes is down at the bottom. Remember I told you that Daniel, it, it re, re, in Daniel it was revealed that those that would instruct many in the end, it was connected to the codes. You wouldn't know that if you searched only the Torah, by the way. Look at this. Men's hearts failed them for those things coming upon the earth. Wow. Where would that appear? Look at this. Running right through the bureau. Um, most of us, those four letters, excuse me. Yeah, those four or five letters. Uh, it was the most of us. Or from the most of us. And you have uh, the Mem Tav and then Lamed Bet, which is heart. So from most of us, the heart died. Men's hearts failed them for things coming upon the earth. Nibiru. Right there. That is not an accident, folks. Uh, from the stars, right there, just off to the side, uh, in the end of the days, right there. Uh, da Daniel is an exciting book to, to, to search out. Um, I'm just one person. So I'm really excited about the progression of this school in this next year. Um, one of the people I was interviewing today asked me, when would we be starting to search codes? Would that be the next year? Uh, and I told her, no. <clears throat> Within a few months, obviously, uh, we have to learn some fundamentals first. But my plan is to have you in the codes uh, with me. It's like an on-the-job training kind of thing. So you're going to be in, you know, interacting with me in such tables as this, uh, searching out terms, looking, and I'm going to show you methodology on tables already established where you can come together with me. Sometimes maybe even in a, in a platform where we can talk back and forth like on Zoom or something uh, and work like a think tank. So, yeah, this is a, is, uh, a lot here that has relevance to the end of the time. Um, let's take a look at a couple of verses here that I got highlighted, especially in the anomaly that's at, at the top here, guys, with Moed. Again, I, I didn't mention that one. So here we go. Let's, it's just, right. Where I have Moed, let's start right there and just kind of go down, which is uh, 115. I believe this is um, Lamentations. For you have trodden down underfoot mighty men, all of all mighty men, in the midst of me, and it called an assembly against me to crush my young men, uh, the Adonai, had trodden down the virgin, the daughter of Judah, in the wine press. Um, judgment. Uh, seven, five seven is where we are now. Our fathers have sinned, and we are not, and we have borne their iniquities. Is what I have highlighted there. Nibiru is right under that, and then right under that. Now we're in lamentation. It's three thirteen. And also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all of his labor. Uh, it is the gift of Yahuwah. And I know that whatsoever Yahuwah doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it. 
nor anything taken from it, and you would do it, that men should fear before him. That which hath been is now, and that which has been has already been, and you who have required that which is past. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment, and wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, that iniquity, that iniquity was there. And moreover, I saw, excuse me, I didn't really, in mine heart, and, and I said in my heart, Yahushua shall judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time, for there is a, and there for every purpose, and for every work. Uh, judgment, again. Uh, then coming down, down here. And this is all a cluster above the main matrix. Uh, 12, chapter 12 is where we are. Uh, let's just back up, because this is talking about the sun, moon, and the stars. Let's see. Uh, therefore remove sorrow from thine heart, and put away evil from thy flesh, for childhood and youth are vanity. Remember now thy Creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, while the sun or the light of the moon or the stars be not darkened, because it will be darkened, nor the clouds return out of the rain, but in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few. And they and those that look out the windows be darkened. And the doors shall be shut in the streets. When the sound of the grinding is low, he shall rise up in the voice of the bird. And all the daughters of music shall be brought low. And also they shall be afraid of that which is high. And fears shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, and desire shall fail. Because men goeth to his long home, and the mourners go about in the streets. And then, right down here, running right through the part, first part of it is Daniel. I get highlighted just a second. Chapter. 2.22 And he revealeth the deep and secret things, and he knoweth what is in the darkness, and the light dwelleth with him. And I thank thee and I praise thee, O thou Yahuwah of my fathers, Elohim of my fathers, who hath given me wisdom and might, and has made known to me now what we desired of thee. For thou hast made known Unto us the king's matter, and this is when Daniel w was uh, had to had to interpret something, and he had much to go on. So this really established Daniel as being anointed, even though he was classified in uh, astrologers and magicians and all those other things. Uh, this is where his, his the light of Yahuwah know, shined through him. Um, but in the context of the end of the days, the codes being involved, I believe uh, this is. This is a key thing here. All right, down here to the verse that has the beast in it. Look at this. We're in chapter 7 of Daniel here, running right through the, the center of this table. Um, all right, look here. We start at verse 11. And I beheld then because of the voice of the great words which the horn spoke, and beheld even the beast which was slain and his body destroyed. That's an end of end of days thing. Has not happened yet. Okay? The beast is in there. Runs right through there. So watch this. I want you to see something here. Something else is here. And as concerning the rest of the beast, they had their dominion taken away. Yet their lives were prolonged for a season and time. And I saw in the night vision, behold, one like the Son of Man came 
with the clouds of heaven. It came to the Ancient of Days, two different individuals here, Son of Man, Yeshua, the Ancient of Days, Yahuwah, and they brought him near before him. And he there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all peoples and nations and language should serve him as a dominion, as an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away in his kingdom shall not be destroyed. That's Yeshua, that's Yeshua coming back with his kingdom. And we are gathered up to him. That's in the end of days, end of an era, tribulation table. That is amazing. Look at this. Another one here I got highlighted. This is the end of 12. Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to 1,305 and 30 days. But thou go thy way until the end be. That's now for thou hast shalt rest. He's talking to Daniel here. Daniel's not involved. So the angel's telling him, don't fret about the end. You go and rest. And you'll stand in your lot at the end of days. That is now in this time. So even still, a lot in here, even after what I've shown you, this is one of those things that gets you all worked up. You want to search codes. Now, like I said, we started the interview process at uh, the website here. And um, some of you have gone through up into uh, enrolling. I need you to go ahead and do that so we can get, you know, classes started. So uh, we have already got a few students in there, but there are still those that I've interviewed who haven't got through the enrollment process. And I would encourage you to go ahead and do that, guys. Also, everyone else, um, subscribe here to the channel with your email and get updates. Um, it's a new application here that we're going to utilize. Um, so stay on top of things right here. Give us your email and subscribe. Um, for the those that went through the enrollment uh, applying process, please go ahead and go through the enrollment process so we can get started with our school. Uh, for those of you who want to apply and learn how to search codes, go to this application, uh, this apply application here. Um, so yeah, we're, Darla and I are really excited about this and uh, we will be getting started with the school in the next week or two. So keep us in your prayers and uh, yeah, we'll be seeing you tomorrow night as well as reading then Saturday. Well, we will continue to do those and I will continue to try to get um, tables out even though we're doing this um, this new school so don't fret folks we'll still be here on YouTube so Shalom and uh, be blessed in Yeshua's name